Sou meu sede. Home and heart I've never used to stir the soul as the hunt did. Oh, Bearston, you promised we would never be apart, not for one waking or sleeping moment, and already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt, one that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that Lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you, and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still, his wife freshly stolen, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> My lord, joyous news! God smiles upon us this very day! Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Harsh angel, do not fret, sir. He hates me. What have I done? Ah! I must go after him. Are you leering at me, Lord? Your Bearstons, High Dane, do not think what you did went unseen. Yet tell me one thing. Is Estrid safe and happy? She's happy. That much I know. Good. Now leave. And if we meet again... You will fall by my sword. <laughs> Estrid should have ruled this land. I would have followed her anywhere.